as it affects the vice presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress. And the double nomination is going to be actually one area where Nigerians are interested to see how the court is going to interpret that section of the Electoral Act. The Supreme Court will be passing a ruling on that today. And it is running concurrently with the Court of Appeal as it affects the case that was adjourned on Saturday to today. We are here as a civil society organization once again under the umbrella and auspices of the Free Nigerian Movement. Yes. We were here on Saturday. Yes. We are here again. Yes. And it's going to continue on and on yes. until justice is served yes. to the Nigerian people. Yes. As we are all gathered here today, you have a barrage, a mixed party faithfuls here. You have the APC here, you have the PDP here, you have the Labour Party here, you have the YPP here. We are a political. And we shall continue to operate on that platform. It is interesting, and it will interest Nigerians to note that currently, as we speak, the governor of Cross River State. Ben Ayade, Professor Ben Ayade, has just secretly signed into law the gubernatorial repeal of a monument in Cross River State. This negates the ruling of the Supreme Court. There is a precedent on ground, and the precedent is this. The Supreme Court ruled that no state houses of assembly within the 36 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria have the, should have the powers to repeal the emoluments of all seven governors and deputy governors and their courts within any administration. But what the governor of Cross River State has done, he only passed that law in the first reading in the House of Assembly. There was no second reading, there was no public hearing, only for him to pass the law into, to repeal the law to his favor and tripled the amendment to his favor. That is what he has done. What do we do to people like that? This negates the principle of natural justice. He has abrogated the law by the Supreme Court. He must be questioned. One thing these people forget is the ephemerality of power. Power is transient. In less than 12 days from now, he will be out of office yes. and he will be open to probe yes. and investigation. Yes. This cannot be allowed to go on, unabated. Secondly, we are also raising a red flag as it affects the courts. We are here to continually mount pressure on our justices in the manner at which they should conduct the presidential proceedings. We were meant to understand that some political parties will be submitting their evidences, and their evidences might take six weeks. We are saying no to it. No! We are saying no, no to it. No! Litigation process can be concluded on time. Yes. Yes. The black market 
injunction one of the functional parties had in Kanu State of recent. You could see how speedy that adjudication went. Why can't it be replicated at the national scale? It can be done. And we're also aware that there are some money backs, some political elites, more especially outgoing governors that are serving as surrogates of these political elites to mount pressure on our justices at the Supreme Court and at the Appellate Court. We are saying to our justices, resist every manipulation, resist every monetary inducement. Yes. The Free Nigeria Movement will continue to stand on the path of truth. Yes. Justice must be served. Yes. Nigeria must get back on track. Yes. We must get it right. Yes. Nigeria is one of the most populous black nations in the world. Yes. Nigeria is acclaimed to be one of the most prosperous and blessed nations in the continent of Africa. Yes. We must get it right. Yes. The Free Nigeria Civil Society Organization will continue to stand on the path of justice. We will continue to stand on the path of freedom. We will continue to stand on the path of fairness. And that is why we are here again today. The Court of Appeal Justices should be reminded that justice must be served on the on the, on the ground of merits and not on technicalities. Yes. You promised Nigerians yes. that justice will be served on the ground of merits. Yes. Let it remain on that trajectory. Yes. Let it remain on that mandate. Yes. The Nigerian people are not satisfied with the presidential election that That's took place. Yes. They all dashed out That's all. to cast their ballots. A lot of people came from outside the continent of this country and this world. They all came to cast their ballot, but they are not satisfied. And they have decided to go through the route of a civil means, the constitutional route. Please do not do a disservice to the Nigerian people. Remember, sovereignty belongs to the people. Sovereignty is in the hands of the people. You must remember that you are a representation of good conscience within the Nigerian system. And you must, as a matter of fact, stand on the path of truth. Yes. Lastly, it is important to bring to notice that the Mr. President's administration, Mr. Buhari, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that will be leaving office very soon, he has failed to superintend over his officers, over his ministers, the bazaar that is going on in all the ministries currently. The manner at which they are approving laws, the manner at which they are approving budgets, contracts, is becoming so abysmal and alarming. The Free Nigeria Movement, what do you say to that? No! no. It should stop. stop. You must give accounts at the end that when you are leaving office, you must give account. And the Nigerian people will hold you to account. We are saying enough is enough. This government is winding down. Let the writing be done. The process of administration, the process of handing over, is what is the business of this government currently. They should focus on the business of governors. Like we said, we are reiterating that the social contract that this administration has with the Nigerian people will terminate on the 29th of May. You must not abdicate the responsibility of governors as we speak, governors must continue. We are lending our voice to those Nigerians that have gone to the court to seek a redress on the abnormalities that took place during the election. The double nomination, I repeat, the double nomination of the vice presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress. The law should be decisive. The law should not be compromised in this regard because the Supreme Court is the final arbiter of any dispute and they, whatever they declare as a judgment remains the grand law in the Constitution and it will remain a reference point. The justices are marching, we are placating, we are appealing to you to please, as a matter of fact, do the right thing in this regard so that posterity will be friendly and you will be an indelible footprint on the sound of time. Why we have come here today 
in solidarity of Nigerians. We shall continue to remain apolitical. There is no apron string attached to our movement. This movement has come to stay. This movement will remain at the vanguard of inventing a new Nigeria. Is a new Nigeria not possible? Is a new Nigeria not possible? Free Nigeria movement is at the vanguard of it. We shall continue to lead from the front. We shall continue to set the pace for others to follow. These are wonderful men and women here who have abandoned their businesses, who have abandoned their livelihood to join in this protest to tell Nigerians, to cry to the government, to cry to the institutions of government, that enough is enough. The aberration going on within the polity should stop. The aberration going on within the polity should stop. And the killings going on in Nigeria should stop. Enough of the blood bags. Enough of the killings. Enough of the killings. Enough of the killings. We are tired. When you wake up, the first thing you see is blood bath report. Sensible of God. Nigeria should not be a theater of violence. The primary purpose of government in section 14 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 2AB, says that the business of government, the primary purpose of government, shall be security. Security and the well-being of the people. That is why we are here today. That is why we are here today as part of our tradition. We are going to go with the Temido Kolo. Yeah. Let's give five boosters. We are here again. 
on our feet like we would always be until we have the Nigeria of our dream. Yes, sir. The song says we will defend our land with all that we have and with all that we are. With our old people, with our young people, with our mothers, with our fathers, with our sons, with our daughters, with our friends, even with our enemies, we will defend our nation, Nigeria. Yes! We have refused to be tired. Yes. There are people that mocked us from the beginning because they think after a while we will go back home and sleep. Because they think after a while we will feel headache and go back and sleep. Because they feel after a while the scorching sun will keep us in the shadows. Because they think after a while the rain will stop us from coming out. Because they think after a while we will be afraid of the security men and refuse to come out. Because they think after a while we will be afraid of our enemies and refuse to come out. But our spirit, our resolve, our determination, our dream is not such that could be killed either by the sun or by a friend or by an enemy. Our country is not for sale. Our country is not for criminals. Our country will not perpetually be in poverty. Nigeria shall not continue to be old. Father, your women cry out to you this morning. Father, our heart is filled with grief. We say, oh dear Lord, arise on behalf of your handmaids in Nigeria. Let me arise, oh God, and fight this battle for us. Let our strength be filled us. Let we not want to go to the leaders of Nigeria. Let we not want to go. We learn the Lord way to speak for them to understand that. But Jesus, oh God, creation. Let it out and noise every language. No one after the other. All the matters, all the sight on the peace of Nigeria. All the sight of Nigeria will not have peace. All the commands of God. All the stakeholders of God. Baba will talk to you about Buhari. Baba will talk to you about Mahmoud. Baba spare the heart. The hearts of kings are in your heart. My father, my maker. Let the Lord God never trouble their heart. In Nigeria, trouble the lives of this one. Let them come out and speak the truth. Let them. And several other cases too, which are cited, we are impressing on them to ensure that justice prevails. Because there is no peace without justice. If they love our country, they love our people, if they love Nigeria, then they must ensure that they do the right thing following the guidelines of the rules of our electoral laws. So that's why we're here. And that's why we're getting a lot of pressure because public interest does matter. If we don't come out and let people know about our grievances all over the world, and so we're here. It's, it's happening right now, and we are telling everybody wherever you are, even if you are in your home, you know. And uh, one of the cases uh, that was not addressed, that was thrown out, not necessarily thrown out, but was kind of rejected, was the case of a uh, public hearing. And the law made provision for it. And also public interest all over the world. Uh, maybe when I address properly, I'll be able to mention and show fairly how it is entrenched even in our constitution. So for the judges to be saying that they will not make the public to want to hear it that is going on, it's one of the dangerous steps that they be, they're already beginning to take. And we are here telling their families, their mothers, their fathers, their constituency, those who love them, to begin to call them. It is what Nigeria wants that will be done. They cannot misinterpret the law and say that they can just not show the law to the public all over the world. The proceeding is there. And I'm going to address it properly and show us how and why. They must allow the public to be able to view and uh, be 
part of our way. So this is part of our way. This is part of us. There was a spark of freedom of the free Nigeria movement. We have been on the road for 23 days. We've been on the virtual space. Collectively, this is a continuous protest in the last 64 days. Unbroken. And we are not deterred. We are asking for this election to be cancelled. The irregularities are just too much. And the world knows that. But, however the ruling goes, Head or tail, we're asking that let it come from the credibility of the law. This is what we're asking. And it is very shameful and disgraceful that Professor Mam Yakub Mahmoud is still sitting in his office after all the atrocities, the barbaric, the suppression, the, 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 the bribe, and everything that he has collected to sell Nigeria. He's still sitting in his office. It shows how low we are falling. If Mahmoud is still sitting in his office, how can we accept justice from the, the court of law? It means that some people know, and you know, like I keep saying, we can't wait no one. We say, Mama, no go sleep. I mean, go sleep. So we are saying it for the world to hear. We are not, we are just asking, is it too much to ask for the right thing to be done? No. Why is it that people who are standing for the truth are those who are gagged in this country? Why is it that people who are asking for fairness, for justice and equity? Why is it that people who will walk into their pulling boots just to cast their vote are the ones that are cut down? Why will bad continue to rule in this country? This is where we are standing. Eh? And we are saying no. 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 We say no. No. No to barbarism. No. No to corruption. No. No to illegality. No. No to suppression. No. Some people have the guts to move into Abuja and say that they will kill people. Can you imagine that kind of thing? I mean, it's almost absurd and unbelievable. But I say to people all over the world, especially Nigerians and young people who have come out in mass to vote, let me tell you, the evil people are just a small number. It is those that they use the tool of intimidation. They use the tool of fear. That is what they do. We are actually more than them. Good can never come out of evil. I know that some people are saying, just let it go, so that in the next four years, let me tell you, if we let this go, there will be no election in the next four years. Because evil can only grow worse. And that is why I'm calling. We are calling. We are calling. Yes. yes. We reiterate it. Yes. We are not here for any political party. Yes. We are not even standing for any politician for that matter. No. We are standing for the dignity of Nigeria. Yes. Children are born. Yes. So we can live a quiet and a peaceable life. Yes. So that capable people. Sometimes when you look at some of our politicians, you wonder how did they get there? If we continue to entrench this lawlessness, then we have ourselves to blame. People of course. Imams and pastors, fathers and mothers, soldiers and lawyers, secure market women, civil society, come out and let's ensure that we demand and put pressure for the right thing to be done. Yes. Without pressure, gold cannot come out. Without pressure, silver cannot be washed. Yes. The gold and silver, the quality that Nigeria is, can never be achieved without pressure. Yes. And so we are standing and asking. Yes. We are speaking particularly to the judiciary. Don't fall our hand. We still believe something good will come out. Right. We have watched how you have tried to ensure that you bring justice to bear before the inauguration. May you keep to it and ensure you do what is right. This is all we are asking. And it's not too much to ask for the most populous nation on the earth. We will take our move and we'll keep marching. We have won, we have made, we made a submission at the appeal court. We are going to the Supreme Court where the hearing is taking place right now about the double nomination of Shetima. If Uche Ungosu can be thrown out, is Shetima too much to be thrown out? Can Shetima not be thrown out? The double nomination is there. What is good for the ghost? Is there a sacred cow in Nigeria? No! That are dying, are they more than us? No! This is what we are saying. Yesterday we had a press briefing. In Delta State, for example, a PDP state, the materials that are meant for election, the 
APC are asking for the materials, and because it's a PDP state, they're trying to suppress them. And we're saying no. No. no! Even if it is a labor state, you cannot deny the other party the ability to seek materials that is going to be used. No Nigerian is more Nigerian than Nigerian. We must bond beyond party affiliation, beyond religion, beyond class. Here we are, Muslims and Christians and all kinds of people. We are saying that without without law, people cannot live right. And that is why we are coming and saying, the laws that we have are built on the foundation of African values. We are a people of value, are we not? Yeah. We are a people of integrity. Yeah. We are the type of people that, if my father is a thief, he will go to jail. Yes. We said it very clearly yesterday. Sometimes you can confess in class, you have the results, you are number one. But sometimes, when you are 31, you can go and clean Three and leave one. You could also have slept with the lecturer to get one. You could have bribed the lecturer to get one. The fact that your result is one, are you one? No. You know in your heart that you are not number one. And this is what we are saying that the end does not justify the means. If the end justifies the means, people will just, you can kill anybody to buy the big house. You can snatch, run, and become the Nigerian president, but you know you are the last person. This is what we are saying. That for us, the process is what concerns us. Because if we allow the, the process is legality, if you say you can cross the red light and go, then nobody will be safe in Nigeria. This is why we are marching. This is why we continue to march. This is why we are out in our numbers in thousands from all over the place to ensure that the right thing is done. We keep keeping and pushing maximum pressure all the way to the Supreme Court we go. We have been crying, have we not been crying? But there is a time to cry and also there's a time to stand strong. Because you see, the people who make us cry, the people who make us cry, 
they have no pity in their dictionary. Yes, sir. They have no they have no empathy in their dictionary. Yes. They have no feelings in their dictionary. Yes, and so there is a time to also stand strong. Yes. Freedom come by struggle. Freedom come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom come. Freedom come by struggle. Freedom come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom come. Freedom come by struggle. Freedom come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom come. Some of you will begin to wonder. Why are the entire youth of Nigeria not out on the street? Some of you will wonder why some of the people we grew up watching speaking to to power are not speaking. Some of you will wonder why imams and pastors have become some of the greatest liars, some of them. Some of you will wonder why a policeman will join force with an INEC man and a copper to snatch and rig election in Nigeria. When poverty is weaponized, that is what happens. Every evil begins to happen. But you see, Nigeria will change. And Nigeria can change. And it can happen in our lifetime. But it's not going to come by a people who are afraid. It's not going to come by a people who are not brave. It's not going to come by lily-livered people. No, we understand that all Nigerians cannot be strong. Yes. But there is what we call a critical mass of people. Yes. Those who can stand, come rain, come shine. Yes. Those who will stand through intimidation and fear. Yes. And we've had such people throughout all the generations. Yes. When you go to South Africa, we have people like Maria Makeba. Yes. We have people like Fela Nikulapo. Yes. We have great leaders who refuse to give up. Many of them still stand them beyond the parochialism of religion, ethnicity and region, who do not care too much about the affiliations of parties, who do not care too much about class and whatever you give to them. If you look up, can you see the sun? Can you see the sun? Yes. You must be like the sun. We must be like what? The sun. The sun does not have respect for your father or your mother. Since the day your grandfather was born, the sun was shining. The sun does not have regard for your religion. It will stand and protect, it will stand and give energy. When we become like the sun, in the night we might go down, but in the morning we will what? We will rise again. Somebody say we will what? No matter what happens, we will keep rising. We will keep rising. We will keep rising. We will rise against any intimidation. We will stand for what is true and what is right. We will continue to evolve and shape our country through the electoral system, through the National Assembly. We must inject people who are fearless in that place. Not like that, this money people with here. Not these people that can make laws and not stand by the law. Not all these ones that wear babariga and carry jeeps and go around. Oh. We are talking about critical people. There are still some of them there. In every sector, there are still people. Just like happened in the 2023 general election. Never in the history of Nigeria as young people, old people, mothers and people come out for this election. That is the strength that we have. That is the power that we have. That is what we will continue to do. Don't say because of what happened in the 2020 general election and I'm going to sleep. If you sleep, that is what the enemy wants. They don't want you to come out. So some of you, they will give you money. Some of you, they will intimidate you. Some of you, they will, they will ensure that they deal with you in one way or the other. But guess what? The moment you decide that come rain, come shine, the moment you become like the sun, you will defile everything. You become ageless. You become religionless. You become everything less. You become powerful. You gain the power of true religion. You gain the power of true Nigerian. You become that true African. Like a Mandela that will be in prison for 27 years and not give up. Like Leah Sharibu who will refuse to give up her belief regardless of the intimidation. Like Malala, like several other people. Like Ghanaian, people who will stand 
against everything, even if they poison them. These are the people that can bring change to Nigeria. And they are here today. Are you here today? Yes. Are we here today? Yes. Are you going to be afraid? No. Are you going to fall to intimidation? No. They have gathered in all the places to intimidate us. But we will not be intimidated. We will stand strong. And we are standing here and saying today that as we have come to the Supreme Court and to the Court of Appeal because of the cases that are going on, we just learned that the one in Supreme Court has been adjourned to what? To the 26th. To the 26th, right? We will continue to put pressure to ensure that the right thing is done. We believe that the judges and the judiciary will do the right thing. Do we? Have we lost hope in them? No! It is their profession. They must They will do it. And because of that, we will end our session today. We'll go home because it is marathon. It's not a sprint. It is what? Marathon. Somebody say marathon. marathon. It doesn't end in four years. It doesn't end in eight years. Listen, whoever comes in, maximum eight years, the person is gone. Did Buhari not come in in 2015? Where is he now? Did President Jonathan not come? Where is he now? Did Olusha who are passing on all rulers? Where is he now? Do not give up hope. No matter what happens, we must overcome. If we don't win today, we will win tomorrow. But nobody will intimidate us. We will continue to expand our capacity. We will continue to expand our accountability. We will continue to expand our responsibility until we win. Somebody say until we win. Until Nigeria win. Until Nigeria win. Until Nigeria win. That is what we are continuing to do. And that's what we will do by tomorrow. We will announce we will be out again. Is anybody going to stop us? No! We will continue to come out until the hearing is done. Yes! Until justice is served. Until power is given back to the people. Until we collect that which belongs to us. We will not stop. We will stop at nothing until we get judgment. The kind of judgment that has no respect for bribery. The kind of judgment that has no respect for intimidation. The, the judgment that only has respect for the federal constitution of Nigeria. That is what we need. That is what we will have. That is what it will be. Good night and God bless you.